Hello, so today we are going to do a walkthrough through Next.js's official tutorial. I thought it would be a good idea to do this because I did this tutorial recently and I did learn a lot of good things and best practices about working with a Next.js application. So I just thought it'd be fun to walk through it. So let's just go ahead and do that. It's a pretty, it's a semi-lengthy tutorial, so I might have to do this in a couple of parts, but let's get started. I'm at nextjs.org. I'm going to click learn nextjs. Okay, uh, start learning. For this tutorial, I'm just going to kind of go through the instructions as they are. I'm not going to do too much explaining unless I'm kind of passionate about it because I don't want to keep this video that much longer than it needs to be. Okay, cool. So we're going to be building this dashboard application and then so what's it going to have? It's going to have multiple pages. It's going to have authentication. It's going to have the ability to add, edit, and delete invoices, AKA full CRUD functionality. Okay, uh, some other cool features, styling, optimization, routing, data fetching, search and pagination, mutating data, error handling, form validation and accessibility and authentication and metadata. So accessibility and metadata. You don't see that often in tutorials, so I think that's pretty cool. So let's jump down. Also optimizations, for sure. Prerequisite knowledge, basic understanding of React and JavaScript. They also have a React Foundations course, which I might check out in the future, actually. Uh, system requirements, Node 18.17 or later. So if you don't know what version of Node you have, you can just type in Node-V in your terminal. I have version 20.12 as of recording this. And operating system, just anything modern, Mac, Windows, or Linux. You'll also need a GitHub account and a Vercel account. So if you have a GitHub account, you can use that to sign up for Vercel. So if you have a GitHub account, you should be good. Uh, let's get started, chapter one. Okay, so they want us to start off with this repo, this example repo. And the reason why they want us to start off with a repository is one to make the tutorial a little bit easier. It's gonna have stuff for us already. It's not gonna be from scratch, which I'm 50-50 on. I like starting from scratch, but their reasoning is because they want it to reflect the real world environment where you start with existing code bases. So that's their reasoning. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just paste that command npx create next app at latest it's going to be called next.js dashboard we're going to use npm and take the example repo here enter okay it's going to install should take about a minute or less do do, do. okay and we're done so now we're going to cd into the dashboard next.js dashboard and then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up my VS code. And I'm gonna split screen this. And we can give VS code a little bit more room. Okay, I'm gonna close my terminal. And they want us to look at the folder structure. So we have an app folder and inside of the app folder, we have a lib folder and a UI folder. And then we also have a public folder, a scripts folder, and a next.config.js. Uh, we have a bunch of other files and folders too, but these are the ones they want us to highlight. So the app folder contains the roots, routes, components, and logic of the application. This is where, this is where we'll be mostly working. Uh, the lib folder will contain functions such as rebuild, reusable utility functions and data fetching functions. UI contains our UI you know, elements like cards, tables, forms, and they've pre-styled these components for us. So we're not gonna be doing too much CSS in this tutorial. Uh, public contains static assets such as images. Let's take a look here. We have a bunch of images here. And scripts contain a single seed script, which we, we will use to see the database later. We, we will be working with a real database. It's gonna be Postgres, so that's pretty, Cool, especially if you only work with MongoDB. I like the thick files. So we have a bunch of them, but 
the one specific to next is next config.js and yeah right now we have no configuration options but this is where you would put them if you had any which we will use later i believe uh, okay and i don't want to go a deep dive into the folders i'll do it as they come up so for example here placeholder data if we go to app lib placeholder data we will see some placeholder data placeholder users placeholder customers okay so that's gonna be good for setting up the front end before we you know connect to a server typescript so this project will be in typescript for the most part and we can see in app lib definitions a bunch of types so we will be working typescripts but they gave us the types for us so we just have to work with typescript we don't have to really create types so it won't be too bad and let's see here uh, so they're saying here if you are a typescript developer and you want better type safety use prisma which is an orm um because here we're manually creating the types but prisma will generate them for you but i'm gonna stick with um out using prisma for this tutorial run the development server let's open up our integrated terminal in vs code let's type in npm install although it should have installed everything already but let's just go ahead and run it and we can run npm run dev i'm going to go ahead and open this up on the side here localhost 3000 where our server is running and here is our application. I'm going to bring it right in here. Okay. Right now it looks really ugly because there's no styling right now. But welcome to welcome to Acme. This is an example for the Next.js Learn course. Okay. Let's take it out. And let me just fix something real quick. Cool. Okay. And we finished chapter one.